For out of defeat came glory. A second successive Grand Slam secured by Webb's record 67 points in a Five Nations season. now I mean I, when Hodgkinson got the record um, in the season before of 60 I predicted that nobody would ever break it for, for many years and uh, to then go and do it myself afterwards was amazing as I said I kept pinching myself and um, it, you know it, the side was playing so well that there were plenty of opportunities but um, as it went very well yeah that might have been an appropriate note to bow out on but Webb was still enjoying his rugby with Bath Yet the move to Swindon was subconsciously taking its toll. The extra mileage and the extra responsibility no doubt contributing to an undistinguished season with England and no place in the British Lions party. Webb acknowledging that at last it was time to call it a day. No, it's, a, it's a sad day, but I know in my, my heart that it's the right time to go, so I'm happy about it. I'm as certain as I can be that, that, that it is definite now. I, I can't see myself being able to play on. I've really, this season has shown that the other things are, are making it more and more difficult for me to play, and um, so that's why I know it's the right decision. His opponents in that last game at the rack had mixed feelings about his retirement. It's terrible to play against because you never really know what he's going to do, and he's, he has got better over the years. I mean, I remember playing against him about well, five, six years ago when he was, he was only right-footed, and as he's got older, he's actually got a lot better. So um, he will be missed but not by me. <laughs> Fittingly enough, Webb signed off at the wreck with a reminder of his value to any team as an attacking fullback. In storybook fashion, he even signed off with a try. The Bath fans well aware of what they'll be missing. The club know that too, and rather than let him bow out after a non-league friendly, they brought him back for one last occasion, the Courage League Championship decider at Saracens, allowing Webb the chance to celebrate with the rest of the Bath family. With typical modesty, Webb kept to the back of the celebration scenes, but Bath are well aware of his value to the club. Hell of a nice man. Outstanding rugby player, very modest. Um, people say to me that uh, I put myself out to play and travel. He's done that with his job. So he's very important. It's, fun. it's quite simple. He's become one of us. But Webb was equally a key member of the England setup, thoroughly deserving the respect and admiration of his colleagues. I think he's a great all round player, actually. Um, I think he brings um, a nice calmness to the side with what he does elsewhere. I think it makes him realise that uh, rugby is not the be-all and end-all of life. But uh, I think he has pace. Um, he's very secure under the high ball um, when we look after him. Uh, he's a great goal kicker. He's got great hands. I mean, I think he is a very, very good all-round player. Um, and he has, you know, brings stability to, uh, to the back three. Not surprisingly, Webb is reluctant to make such claims for himself. How would you like to be remembered as, as a fullback, as a player? Someone who came good. <laughs> I think, really, because the, the first time round, I didn't do what I wanted to do, and there were plenty of critics. And I think the thing that satisfied me most was that in the Renaissance, the sort of second time around, that I proved a lot of people wrong and, and proved to myself that I, I played much closer to, to how I wanted to rather than the sort of feeling that was left after the first time round. Yeah, I suppose that'd be the way. But wherever rugby has taken him, medicine has always been the priority for John Webb. Being a doctor, you have to be sort of fairly um, philosophical about uh, the big issues in life, if you like, without getting too, too melodramatic. Um, I've said it before that you, you know, dealing with patients who really have major problems that, that you're trying to help them with puts everything in perspective and uh, rugby is, is a game and whether players turn it into professional or not it's still 
of very little importance compared with some of the more important things in life. What is important to Webb is medicine, and his colleagues at Swindon are delighted that they will now benefit from Webb's full-time concentration. Yeah. I think he's of the highest quality, actually. Um, he's already done uh, some research, uh, and as a, as a junior registrar, uh, he's done as much research as, as probably any of the registrars we've had here. Um, he's very thoughtful, he's bright, and he's very talented as a surgeon. His impact as a doctor is yet to be felt. His impact as a rugby player has been enjoyed by thousands of West Country fans. For Bristol, over 100 games, 800 points, and nearly 50 tries. For Bath, a mere 49 first-team matches, but a key contribution to two Courage League titles and a Pilkington Cup success. But it is for his impact on England that Webb will be chiefly remembered. The rock on which England's World Cup campaign was based and on whom their second Grand Slam was built. His was an England career of two parts. Crowned in glory, enjoyed to the full and yet leaving some cause for concern that's my biggest sadness with rugby is that the way it's going is that it's actually excluding people who do in inverted commas serious other jobs and, and really you're getting to, to having to have firms where the benefit of having a rugby player who's sort of well known outweighs the fact that they're away a lot um, and you know medicine it, it doesn't really count for much. <laughs> I play rugby a lot. Webb's concern is shared by many of the men for whom playing for England is at once a great honour and a juggling act between work and rugby. I don't think you'll see many more of him um, because he's incredibly dedicated. And I don't know how he manages to balance the two. He does remarkably well. As John Webb signs off from top-class rugby, the fans at the wreck could well have been witnessing the end of an era. Is John Webb the last of the Corinthians? Next here on HTV, Through the Keyhole.